This is the USS John F. Kennedy CVN-79. The second of those super-advanced Ford-class carriers would be out sailing by now. But wait, it's still parked at the shipyard in Newport News. It's not broken or anything. We're talking about a ship that was supposed to be done back in 2018, then 2022, and now they're saying March 2027. That's a long wait for a $13 billion ship, and people are definitely starting to ask questions. So, what's the holdup? It's actually all the cool new tech on board. Instead of the old school steam systems, this ship uses fancy magnets and software for launching planes, emails, catching them with advanced arresting gear, and moving weapons around. It's amazing stuff, but it's tricky to get right. Unlike the first ship, the USS Gerald R. Ford, which fixed issues after it was built, the Navy wants the Kennedy to be 100% ready to fight before they take the keys. It's a let's get it right the first time approach, which is smart but definitely slower. Here's where it gets a little sticky. The legendary USS Nimitz is set to retire in May 2026, and since the Kennedy is running late, the Navy might be down to just 10 carriers for about a year instead of the usual 11. That's not great timing, especially with everything going on in the world right now. It puts a lot of pressure on the other ships to pick up the slack. The Navy is scratching its head right now, figuring out if they should keep the Nimitz going a bit longer or just shuffle things around to make it work. But it's not all doom and gloom. There's actually some good news happening on board. Just recently, in late 2025, they fired up the nuclear engines and spun the propellers for the first time right there at the pier. That's a huge deal because it proves the power plant, which makes way more electricity than the old ships, is working. Plus, they've been testing the catapults by launching heavy sleds into the river. So, the ship is definitely waking up. Fingers crossed, the Kennedy should finally head out for sea trials in early 2026. That'll be the real test to see if all this waiting paid off. If everything goes well, the Navy will officially take it over in 2027. Until then, it's basically the world's most powerful ship that's not going anywhere just yet, but hopefully, it'll be worth the wait.